نیستم Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, and welcome to the Minor Basilica and Parish of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Let us begin our celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Vincent Liam de la Paz and companions, martyrs in Vietnam. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins. And so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, Therefore, as Blessed Mary, Mary of your Virgin, all the angels and saints, and, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, the source and origin of all fatherhood, you kept the blessed martyrs, Vincent Liam de la Paz, and companions, faithful to the cross of your Son, even to the shedding of their blood. Through their intercession, enable us to spread your love among our brothers and sisters, that we may be called and may truly be your children. We ask this through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Tainu. King Belshazzar gave a great banquet for a thousand of his lords, with whom he drank. Under the influence of the wine, he ordered the gold and silver vessels which Nebuchadnezzar, his father, had taken from the temple in Jerusalem to be brought in so that the king, his lords, his wives, and his entertainers might drink from them. When the gold and silver vessels taken from the house of God in Jerusalem had been brought in, and while the king, his lords, his wives, and his entertainers were drinking wine from them, they praised their gods of gold and silver, bronze and iron, wood and stone. Suddenly, opposite the lamp stand, the fingers of a human hand appeared, writing on the plaster of the wall in the king's palace. When the king saw the wrist and hand that wrote, his face blanched. His thoughts terrified him. His hip joints shook and his knees knocked. Then Daniel was brought into the presence of the king. The king asked him, Are you the Daniel, the Jewish exile, whom my father, the king, wrote from Judah, I have heard that the Spirit of God is in you, that you possess brilliant knowledge and extraordinary wisdom. I have heard that you can interpret dreams and solve difficulties. If you are able to write 
to read the writing and tell me what it means. You shall be clothed in purple. Wear a gold collar about your neck and be third in the government of the kingdom. Daniel answered the king, You may keep your gifts or give your presents to someone else, but the writing I will read for you, O king, and tell you what it means. You have rebelled against the Lord of heaven. You had the vessels of his temple brought before you so that you and your nobles your wives and your entertainers might drink wine from them. And you praise the gods of silver and gold, bronze and iron, wood and stone, that neither see nor hear nor have intelligence. But the God in whose, but the God in whose hand is your life breath. In the whole course of your life, you did not glorify. By him were the wrist and hand sent, and the writing set down. This is the writing that was inscribed, meaning tickle and pires, whose words mean these words mean meaning God has numbered your kingdom and put an end to it. You have been weighed on the scales and found wanting. Paris, your kingdom has been divided and given to the Medes and Persians. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Sun and moon bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Every shower and dew, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. All you winds, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Please stand. Remain faithful until death, and I will give you the crown of life. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus told his disciples, I solemnly assure you, unless the grain of wheat falls to the earth and dies, it remains just as a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. The man who loves his life loses it while the man who hates his life in this world preserves it to life eternal. If anyone would serve me, let him follow me. Where I am, there will my servant be. Anyone who serves me, the Father will honor. Dear sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Hanggang sa makabagong panahon, 
ay uso pa rin po at kailangan natin ang mga martyrs. Mga minamahal na kapatid sa ating Panginoong Isog Kristo, kung niyo pong mapapansin, ang mga santo sa ating simbahan, ng mga banal, ay binibigyan po ng iba't ibang titulo. Meron silang kanya-kanyang titles. Yung iba mga banal ay tinatawag kong virgins. Yung iba naman mga banal ay tinatawag na doctors of the church. Yung iba naman po ay tinatawag na mga martyrs. Bagamat po magkakaiba ang titulo, lahat po sila ay merong iisang pinagdaanan. Ano yung kalang pinagdaanan? Silang lahat ay dumaan sa isang labanan, sa isang pakikipagtunggali, pakikipaglaban. At lahat sila'y mga nagtagumpay sa laban na hinarap nila sa kanilang buhay. Itong dahilan kung bakit makikita ninyo, meron silang aureole sa ulo, tinatawag na crown, tinatawag na halo, sapagkat yung crown, ang corona, ay sagisag o tanda ng pagtatagumpay ng isang tao. Sa makabagong panahon, ang alam nating laging kinokoronahan ay yung mga sumasali sa mga beauty contest. Bagabat beauty contest yun, dumaan din yung mga kandidata sa iba't ibang pagsubok. Merong mga question and answers kung sino ang pinakang mahusay sumagot. Siyang panalo, tasang points. Kung sinong pinakang sexy, panalo rin. Kung sinong pinakang maganda ang gown, may mananalo rin. Sinong pinakang mahusay lumakad at iba pang mga kriteriya na kasama do sa contest na yon. Ngayon sa mga banal, hindi naman to siyang contest. Subalit, ang mga taong banal ay may iba't ibang dinaanan na pagsubok sa buhay. Yung mga virgins, ang pagsubok sa kanila na kailang pinagtagumpayan ay yung panatilihin na malinis ang kalang isipan, ang kalang puso, at ang kalang pangatawan. Yung pagpapanatili ng kalinisan ng ating katawan, ng isipan at ng puso ay paanyaya rin po sa lahat sa atin hanggang sa makabagong panahon. Itong mga naging santo eh tinatawag na ganap perfect yung kanilang paglaban no? sa pwersa ng karumihan sa kanilang panahon ito naman mga doctors ay eh, may pinaglabanan din karaniwan ang ipapasok sa ating isipang doctors ay mga nang gagamot at ang ginagamot ay ang ating sakit sa katawan alam natin na ang sakit ay Pwede natin sabihin, something evil, hindi kaaya-aya, ayaw natin yan. Ang ating Panginoong Iso Kristo ay nagpagaling din ng iba't ibang sakit sa katawan. Subalit ang mga banal na tinuturing na doctors of the church, iba ang pinagaling, hindi lang sakit ng katawan, kung hindi yung sakit sa isipan, yung tinatawag natin kamangmangan. Merong isang philosopher na tinanong sa makabagong panahon, sabi sa kanya, what do you think is the greatest evil in the modern world? Ang sagot niya ay ignorance. Kung meron mang pinakang nakakatakot at talagang masama no, na nangyayari sa mundo, ay yung ang tao ay manatiling mangmang. Sapagkat sa kamangmangan, maaring maraming masasamang bagay ang ibunga o mangyari. Maraming maling desisyon ang mga kaapekto sa buhay natin. Ngayon itong mga santo na tinatawag na doctors of the church, katulad ni St. Thomas Aquinas, St. Teresa of Avila, St. Catherine of Siena, silang lahat ay napakahusay ng pangaral tungkol sa ating Panginoong Diyos, tungkol sa ating pananampalataya. Sila'y tinatawag ng mga liwanag ng simbahan sila'y naging gabay upang sa ganoon ating malaman, ating maintindihan kung ano ang pinakang bahalaga sa buhay nito. Ang mga martyrs naman, karaniwan na pumapasok sa ating isipan kapag ka pinag-usapan ng martyrs ay yung mga taong labis na nasaktan, yung mga taong nagdanak ng dugo, 
Katulad ngayon na pinagdiriwang natin ang pagkamartir ni St. Vincent Liam de la Paz at pula ang aking suot. St. Vincent Liam de la Paz at ang kanyang mga kasamahan ay mga martyrs po ng Vietnam. Pero St. Vincent Liam de la Paz ay isa pong alumnos ng Letran Colegio de San Juan de Letran sa Intramuros sa Manila. Siya po'y nag-aral dito sa Pilipinas. San Lorenzo Ruiz din ay isang martir. Ano ang dahilan kung bakit ang mga santong ito ay diniklara ng ating simbahan na martirs? Maraming taong nahihirapan sa ating makabagong panahon. Marami tayong napapanood na nagdadanak ng dugo. Kahit nga doon sa aking kaibigan, narinig ko minsan, sinasabi niya doon sa kanyang kaibigan na babae, Oy, huwag kang magpakamartir. Lagi kang binubugbog ng yung mister. Bakit ka nagpapakamartir? Ay martir nga ba siyang totoo? Babalitaan natin from time to time. Mayroon mga estudyante na mamatay dahil sa hazing sa eskwalahan. Napakatindi ko minsan ang kalang pinagdadaanan. Bugbog sarado at ikinamamatay pa. Pero hindi sila itinuturing na martir ng ating lipunan. May mga tao dinudukot, binabaril, nasasaksak. Hindi sila tinuturing na martir ng ating lipunan o ng ating simbahan. Ang mga martir na itinuturing ng ating simbahan ay hindi lamang doon sa pagdanak ng dugo. Bagkos ang batayan ay kung anong dahilan bakit ka labis na naghihirap. Kung anong dahilan, bakit ka nagbuhos ng dugo? At ang dahilan ay yung kanilang paninindigan para sa kanilang pananampalataya sa ating Panginoong Yesus. Ang mga martir hanggang sa huli, bagamat sila'y pinapahirapan, sila'y nanindigan sa katotohanan. At ang katotohanan ay ang ating Panginoong Yesus. Sila'y nagbuhos ng dugo kahit na napakasakit at pwede naman sana silang tumakas pero sila'y nanatiling matatag sa kanilang pananampalataya sapagkat ang kalang isipan at ang kalang puso ay nakatuon sa kabutihan na ipinapangako ng ating Panginoong Diyos para sa ating lahat. Sa ating makabagong panahon, alam po natin na maraming tukso sa buhay. Maraming nagaganap na maaring laban sa ating pananampalataya. Kung tayo po'y maninindigan sa katotohanan, maaring magkaroon tayo ng pag-uusig, persecution. Pero sa ating paninindigan sa katotohanan, pwede po tayong tawagin na modern martyrs. Kapag ka nandiri ang tukso ng pagnanakaw sa kaban ng bayan at napakalakas ng tukso, pero dahil sa iyong pananampalataya sa Diyos, ay naisip mo na hindi mo gagawin alang-alang kay Jesus at tinibayan mo ang iyong kalooban, di po ba't ikaw ay isang martir na ang kahulugan ay isang saksi sa katotohanan ng Panginoong Diyos? Ang salitang martir ay isang salitang Griego na ibig sabihin lang po yung witness, sumasaksi sa kung ano ang tama sa buhay nito. Tuwing tayo po ay sasaksi sa kung ano ang katotohanan, sa kung ano ang makatarungan, sa kung ano ang ating pananampalataya, tayo po ay nagiging martir sa makabagong panahon. Padalangin po natin Nanawa sa ating pang-araw-araw na pagharap sa iba't ibang hamo ng buhay nito, maaring sa inyong opisina, maaring sa inyong pamilya, sa ating bayan, pagsikapan po nating tingnan kung ano yung bagay na makatotohanan, kung ano yung bagay na makatarungan, at tayo po yung manindigan. Sa ating paninindigan, tayo po'y tumatayo sa kung ano ang iniuutos sa atin ng ating Panginoong Yesus. At manalangin tayo na hari na wa, bagamat maaaring hindi tayo makoronahan, katulad ng mga banal, pero alam natin na ang Diyos na at ang langit 
ang nakakaalam ng paninindigan ng ating isipan at ng kalagayan ng ating mga puso. Please all stand. The world and its people belong to God. Let us entrust ourselves to Him and believe in hope in God's protection. Let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may look at the future with faith and hope. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That through our acts of kindness, the despised, the rejected, or unloved in our society may experience God's care in their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may have firm confidence in Jesus, who opens our eyes to the beauty of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and the suffering may see and feel God's healing presence in those who care for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That perpetual light and grace be granted upon our deceased relatives and friends. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, let us pray for our personal intentions. Father, you have chosen us to share your kingdom forever. Give us the strength to bear our sufferings and hardships in the knowledge that we will be raised through Jesus' saving power. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray with your brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Father most holy, accept the gifts we bring as we honor the sufferings of St. Vincent and companions amid the trials of life. Help us to, to remain faithful to you and to present our lives as an offering that is pleasing in your sight. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is true, right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy, you give ardor to their faith. To their endurance, you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle, 
the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we with all the hosts of angels cry out, and without end we acclaim. We are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts of pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewel, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you call again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his assistant bishop in all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son. Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us pray for the coming of the kingdom as Jesus taught us. Sapit 
si kami panahian mo, puno'y linawang jantali. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Grace the grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, the Santa Apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will will even reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit let us offer each other the sign of peace lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Son of Mary, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please kneel. Together, let us pray the credo of stewardship. I believe in the God of love, the owner of everything who possesses everyone. I believe in the God of mercies, who has chosen me to be a steward of Mother Nature and Mother Church, in spite of who I am and what I have done, in spite of the infidelities He knows I will still commit. I believe in the power of giving and the power of loving like Jesus, because love is the only way to holiness. Giving is the best proof of loving, and perfect renunciation leads to unlimited fruitfulness. I believe that in freely giving my time, in humbly sharing my talents, and in generously sacrificing my treasures, the Lord will always provide. He will take care of all my needs and bless me with infinite reward on earth and in heaven. I will be the first to give. I will not wait for the others. I will keep on giving, even if others do not give. I will not be afraid to have none. I believe that the best time to share is now, not tomorrow, for tomorrow is an excuse of the greedy. I will keep my needs and wants simple and few, for I believe that in reducing my selfishness, I will grow in happiness and holiness. I am a steward of the Lord. I will return all this to Him with abundant yield. Much is asked of me, because much has been given to me. I praise the Lord for His kindness to me, now and forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Nourish with the one bread that we have received on this feast of the holy martyrs, we beg you, Lord, that we may remain in your love and through patience inherit your promised reward. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong pagbisita sa Minor Basilica and Parish for Lady of the Rosary Manawag at sa inyong pagkikisa sa ating banal na misa. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass ascended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. We shall have the prayer for the sick and for the blessing of your rosaries and other religious articles. Our helps in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us the strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward the sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, so that the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, that the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.